fighting with shopping bags, residents racing to get out. After more than two months of a brutal citywide lockdown, Shanghai is finally cracking open the seal. The city's main train station packed with people trying to escape, but actually getting out of here is a treacherous journey. The city says it will fully resume transportation today. But earlier, people have been seen trekking miles across highways, dragging their luggage or strapping it to bikes. Even journeys of dozens of miles or more not swaying their determination. The train station parking lot has become a campsite, some leaving days earlier than their departure time, terrified they could be locked down again if they stay at home. The masses outside the train station, a stark contrast to the rest of Shanghai. Hundreds of thousands still remain locked in. But even the lucky ones allowed out face a laundry list of restrictions. There are checkpoints everywhere. No, this is definitely not freedom. This Shanghai resident and her son, who wished to remain anonymous for fear of persecution from authorities, were finally allowed out after more than 80 days. Her only solace is seeing her son outside and smiling for the first time in a long time. My child now has depression um, because of the lockdown. He started waking up at night and crying and shouting and saying there were people wearing masks in his bedroom and he stopped eating. That harsh reality, miles away from what the government wants to show. Watch this state TV reporter pull the microphone and camera away during a live interview when the resident starts to complain about the lockdown. She says, I've never lived through anything like this, being locked inside your home and not allowed to go out. What a big joke. Officials say the city will start returning to normal in June, but residents are doubtful. So this does feel like endless, endless nightmare. Her freedom lasted less than a week. One COVID case was found near her, so she's back to lockdown. For over two months, Shanghai has had its freedom taken away. Residents imprisoned at home or forced into quarantine centers like these. No one knows when this nightmare will fully end. Jake, people in Shanghai, they are relieved, but they're also in huge disbelief. They have really been left traumatized by this months-long lockdown, and it's really eroded people's trust in the government. And even though most of Shanghai's 25 million are finally able to step outside today, hundreds of thousands still remain locked inside. And these past few months have really been a wake-up call to Shanghai, that in authoritarian China, even if you live in the country's wealthiest, most cosmopolitan city, your freedoms could be taken away in an instant. There is no assurance here, Jake, that all of this won't happen again.